My name is Mojash Munishi Maktera and you're listening to the program Injili na Maisha. Did you know a very small percentage of your peers or fellow students will keep in touch with you after completing school? Many of them will end up forgetting you, but always your family and even better God will rejoice because of your good morals. Psalms chapter 37 verses 23 to 25. Let's talk about peer pressure. In our everyday lives we face a lot of peer pressure. Youths in particular face these things more, for example, drug abuse, alcoholism, immorality, and the likes. You know what your friends are urging you to do is wrong, but you feel as though if you decline, you will look like a coward. Everyone wants to fit in, and because of this feeling, we want to be like others. But just think about this. Are your friends people with principle, or just follow, come what may? Whichever the answer, do you want to follow without thinking, or do you want to take a stand and stand for what is right? Remember Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, young intelligent men who took a stand and God saw them through. Do you find it hard to take a firm stand? Would you like to know how to do it without fear? There are four simple steps. First, think ahead and avoid any sticky situations. Do not put yourself at the mercy of the enemy. Proverbs chapter 22 verse 3. Second, ask yourself the consequences of yielding to peer pressure. Hebrews chapter 5 verse 14. Third, make a decision. Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 19. Joseph, John and Jesus all made good decisions. Follow the example. Four, take action. It might be hard, but the long-term results are worthwhile. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 23. Thank you.